guys, welcome back. I have a little bit of a voice, so I figured I'd film a video. I lost my voice because I have allergies. And yeah, this is what I've got going on. It's, it's a lot better now. So I think maybe in the next couple of days I'll be fully recovered. Right now I'm gonna make a stew like a, in my rice cooker. I don't know if you guys know you can do that, but it's so easy and it cooks so fast. You don't have to worry about anything. You can just walk away and leave it alone and it's fine. And right now I kind of have a hodgepodge of veggies. This is dangerous. I have an onion, some baby potatoes, yellow potatoes, celery, carrots, lentils, some salsa. It comes in handy. It actually tastes so good inside of like this stews. I'll probably put, oh, I have spinach. And I might put some beans. I have some pinto beans and black beans that I might put inside, but I don't know. I think I might keep it with the lentils. In my household, we're always talking about something that people would find taboo. I think yesterday we were talking about, because we're vegan and, well, most of my family is, but my dad isn't. And he asked us, what's the difference in eating plants versus animals? Like, don't plants have feelings too? And we went into this discussion about how plants are made to give us food. Like they produce fruit and it's brightly colored and it's like it's a different shape than the rest of the plant so that you can eat it and it helps like pollinate and stuff when you pick the fruit too. <clears throat> so it's made to be eaten. You're not actually hurting the plant itself because it's going to continue to grow and spread its seeds everywhere. Then why are you looking at me? Don't look at me with those eyebrows, please. <laughs> You're like messing me up. I'm trying to record right now. Damn. She said, don't look at me with your face. Eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to add some garlic. Yeah, her too. Eat plants, they're good for you. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm adding the garlic, but the best way to do garlic is to crush it first. That way you can get this the little peel off. My mom and sister are in the background. My sister's doing my mom's eyebrows. She doesn't have eyebrows. So she's trying to Oh get she stuff. just roasted you! Okay, she has like minimal eyebrows. She was in the like time where everybody tweezed their eyebrows and that was cool. So now, <laughs> so now she's trying to get eyebrows. See? It's so much easier if you crush it, then this stuff just comes off. Okay, and stuff is really healthy for you. Garlic, let's see. Garlic boosts immune system. It's good for blood pressure. Reduces cholesterol, which I really don't have to worry about because I don't eat eggs. So that's cool. And it says it wards off coughs and colds, which I obviously have right now. And this uh, recipe is all oil free. And I think it takes like 30 minutes to cook in the rice cooker. It's really fast. And you can add whatever vegetables you like. I think last time I made it, I had I added mushrooms and bell peppers. And we have a big family, and it filled them up so. And this recipe is good for if you need something like on the go. Quick. 
You can make it the day before or for your meal preps. For my carrots, before I cut like before I chop them up, I always peel them. It's just so much easier. I lost the carrot. Carrot down. Carrot down. Get it? Cause like man. Yeah. <laughs> and you can use the little leafy thing. Oh, okay, yeah. I came up with a snowman joke and it was like, knock knock. Who's there? Snowman. Snowman who? I'll snow on your man. <laughs> I thought it was pretty fun. I'm gonna add a jalapeno. What's another veggie joke I can make? Okay, knock knock. Who's there? Potato. Potato who? Potato chip. Damn. <laughs> Kill this. <laughs> These are like the best jokes ever. <laughs> Alright, now it's my some tomato. Pick it up. Have you guys smelled thyme? It smells like cat. Go smell it. It's like little baby grasses. <laughs> it's good though. Oh, but it has a kick. Why did you use mustard in my pink bottle for? It's so good. I just fixed a little bit. We're making rice right now and I'm gonna mix it all together. That way we can spread it for everybody so they have enough. I'm gonna cook rice. Um, and then that should be it. Cook rice. I might do a little bit uh, more for tonight, but I'm not sure yet. I'm craving chocolate right now, so we might run to the Target and go get my dark chocolate and those Justin peanut butter cups. Did you make your chocolate cookies? My mom wants me to make chocolate cookies, but it, it's like those chocolate oatmeal cookies, the no bake kind. They're so good. The only thing is, I don't know if I have enough stuff. I think you need sugar, <coughs> cocoa powder. We have cocoa. Yeah, I think so. You buy everything. Cocoa and coconut oil. Oh, uh, we need more oatmeal. Okay. We'll oatmeal. Buy a new thing. So I could go get oatmeal. We'll buy a new thing. Oh, we do have oatmeal. Should I get 
could be a new box. We might be making cookies, so you might be seeing me cook two times today. Let me see if what? I can find the recipe. You were doing I don't really there. remember what I did last time. And the rice, I guess, is done. We'll see, because that was a mess. Funny story, we have a full rack of coffee, but I haven't had coffee in, like, I feel like forever. And I used to drink it every day. But we have, like, a full little rack. Oh, and somebody pierced a hole in one. Lovely. I actually think I might make some right now. Because <coughs> I haven't had some. You know, this one's the bomb. You can see like, how much I've used of this already. There's like no sugar. You saw so yard. You saw so yard in there. These are the bright vegan sprinkles. So, I love sprinkles <clears throat> and donuts and like my favorite donut was chocolate covered donut with uh, rainbow sprinkles and we actually might be going to Austin this weekend <clears throat> me and a girlfriend and we're gonna go to the vegan donut place down there and I'm gonna load up you can get like huge buckets of donuts it's not that much, and you get a ton yeah, of donuts. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. It was ten dollars for that huge bucket. I think you have to special order them, but if I order them now, then it'd be good. And then we might go to like Arlo's and a couple of vegan places I want to stop by because I haven't been down there in a while. Vegan can eat good too. So, I'm gonna look for that recipe once. Ooh, I also made like a vegan, like an easy banana bread. It's vegan, of course, but it was like so easy. And I used to make like regular banana bread before, and it was so hard. This one was fast. Woohoo, found the cookies. Let's see. Uh, I have a lot of nuts. Okay. Abby decides to eat the jar of peanut butter as soon as I start recording. There you go, Abby. She likes peanut butter too. <laughs> so she likes when we make these cookies. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna set it to medium. Everything's gonna go in except for the oats. Like that's that's what you're gonna put in last. Alright guys, it's time to cook. Ah! And I need another pan. I forgot how many this always makes. Leora, grab me a wax paper, hurry! Hurry! This is my run. 
together. <laughs> This is the masterpiece. Now I, we just need to let him cool. I'm gonna put the rest over here. Yay! Okay, all done. See, it's easier than you think. It's just like getting the ingredients separated and then, yeah, getting them separated, put on the pan. That's the hard part. Better than that. There you go. All right, so I went ahead and popped this in the freezer and, and the fridge because the big pan didn't fit in the freezer. So um, that should speed up the time. So if you guys decide to make these cookies, that'll be a big time saver and you won't have to wait for them to cool as long. I think maybe like 30 minutes, maybe not even that. I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. It should be good. Cause they cool down pretty fast. I so good. And Abby was, chasing me around the kitchen because she wants some too. But no chocolate. I'll let you guys know what goes on later. Alright, bye.